my name is Hannah and I work at Salt Lake County Animal Services and today I want to talk to you about dog bite prevention, specifically how to greet a dog appropriately. Now according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, more than 4.5 million people in the U.S. are bitten by dogs every single year. Unfortunately, children are the most common victims. So hopefully today these tips will help keep you and your family safe. Now before we approach any dog, it needs to have three things, a leash, a collar, and an owner. If the dog does not have all three things, it's considered a stray dog and we should call our animal control. If it does have a leash, a collar, and an owner, we then need to look at body language. Does the dog look happy and relaxed? Or does it look scared or nervous or even aggressive? There are wonderful resources online for body language in dogs and I highly recommend that you and your family check those out so that you can recognize these body signals when you see them. If the dog looks happy and relaxed, we then need to ask permission from the owner. May I please pet your dog? Now, any reason is appropriate for an owner to say no, and we need to respect that. Maybe the dog doesn't like new people. Maybe it's scared of children. Maybe it's injured or sick. Maybe it's a service animal or an animal that's in training. If an owner says no, we just need to thank them and walk away. Now, if the owner does say yes, you can pet my dog. We then need to check body language again. Does the dog still look happy and relaxed now that I'm closer? If it does, then we can proceed. Now, the number one mistake that I see people make when they meet new dogs is to put their hand right in the dog's face. Dogs have very powerful noses. They can smell you just fine from a few feet away, um, and they may not like having your hand right in their bubble. So it's best to keep your hands to yourself, um, at least at first. The next mistake I see people make is leaning over the dog. They lean right over the dog or get right in the dog's face um, and they don't respect those boundaries. So what you should do instead is actually turn your body slightly sideways so you're not facing head on to the dog. Um, you can keep your hand close to your body and offer it to the dog's um, keeping it close to your leg to see if the dog would like to come and interact with you. If the dog comes to you looking for interaction and they look happy and relaxed, then we can pet them. Avoiding leaning over the dog, we're going to pet the dog on its shoulders or its side or its back, but avoiding the top of its head, avoiding eyes, ears, tail, belly, and paws, and making sure that our petting is calm and gentle that we're petting them with the direction that their fur grows and that we're staying um, quiet and our movements um, slow and relaxed. The next mistake I see people make is crouching down and getting in the dog's face. Now this is a very bad idea as the dog's mouth contains all of their teeth and when you put your face right next to their mouth, um, face bites can happen, especially to children. So you should remain standing when you're petting the dog. Now occasionally you may come across a little dog um, and to avoid leaning over that little dog, it may be appropriate then to crouch down, turn your body sideways, keeping your hand close to your body and letting the dog come to you. If it's a medium or a large sized dog, we should remain standing. I hope that these tips and tricks help you in the future, keep you and your family safe from being bitten by a dog. If you would like to learn more about Salt Lake County Animal Services, please visit our website at adoptutahpets.org or you can find us on Facebook. Thank you.